about to see that happen. Perhaps the Saints Wall boost right up uh, by the Alt Orb. And already Garnet's dashing straight in. But of course, Jesse bashed up by Logs. Wasn't quite clear that Frenzy is going to do some damage. Dubstep up by Market 2. They are just holding it down. Talon. This is not quite what we were expecting to One see. They're remaining. dashing in blindly, and all it takes is a few more clicks for that flawless pistol win. Position, and they hear everything that's happening right at their footsteps, right underneath their noses. All it takes is for that collapse to come through. Jesse Vash, two Marshall shots. His teammates here to back him up. And all that's left is going to be Cruz. Only a classic in hand, maybe one kill, not, it just might be true. <laughs> Talon continuing to push on through right now. They do have the rifles, they're trying to make it work, and it's gonna be Garnet dishing out the damage to start, <laughs> already on for the 3K. <laughs> Jesse just jumping at him. I love it, Garnet's though, good reaction. <laughs> Instantly flicking upwards, tracking down, right? I mean, like, it, I know what you're trying to go for, but sometimes it's just a little bit too wild for my taste. And of course, Cruz. Come in Envy trying to flank around the side of this, but they're a little bit late to the party and they're going to get backstabbed. Oh. Yeah, this is this is done. Nasty. Fox is good. It's Talon, but look at this, a push out and it's taken care of by Jip Boys. Classic. And everyone's working together. They're shooting down the recon dart. Oh. Looking in multiple ways. Pat just leading in towards a different part of the map too. They already have market control and oh. Sage. Yeah, you have to give it away that you're trying to come up and over. And dubstep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Got one. Yeah, the operator. That's huge. Of course, they're playing so defensive. They want to make use of whatever they've got. Talon are just rushing in. And of course, that's the wall There's that we were the talking wall. about before. It's, uh, it allows him to take down Jeremy. But then again, at the same time, you've got pushes coming out through mid, coming out through A. A little bit of uh, contest towards every single site, but this is something that you don't expect. The shorty inside of that dark cover. Instant point blank shot towards Jesse Vash's face. And we're down to a four on three. Tough retake coming. Inmi needs to find a big kill here. I'm trying to scout out a little bit more information. Confirms it. The flash is good. Even better as he gets the quick double. Garnets, though, again, both of them inside a boathouse. All they have to do is peek at the right time, the right good shots, and it's going to happen. Back to a one on one. Oh! Markham! I said Envy needed to have a good entry. Well, he Face your fear. Oh my gosh. Talent continues to push through this. I don't know. But Garnets doesn't care. Just dashes in. Suddenly a quick double. Oh, Jeremy. Footsteps. All right, pops the nano, they're gonna wait it out. Oh, he gets the kill. And he just Five blocks them days. off. This is Last good enough, standing. but now we're down to the one on two. Borkum, so wow. smart from Cruz, so smart. This guy, ever since Champions last year, he's been so hardworking. This isn't even his final form. <laughs> what a big brain play, and now he has that little extra time to play around with the positioning. Borkum has no idea. It's point blank range, but no! Wrong time! So I'm considering it. And here it is, the alt that you're talking about. A bit of a wall from Patty, but I don't know how much that's going to do. The pressure is on, and here comes Jesse as they try to push past the smoke. At the same time, Jeremy's just waiting for them. Jit Boys finds a little bit of space. He finds that quick double, too, but 10 seconds remaining now. No chance. I don't know how this is going to shape up, but... Now look at the map control. Oh, yes. Oh, dubstep though, able to hold it down. Cruz there, not able to find a better of that trade. So now they have to clear out this quickly, and they do. Just enough for them to get that spike down. Fox able to hold off market, potentially defender spawn too, but dubstep, Borkum, they're all waking up, firing on these cylinders. In B2, one for everyone. To Borkum. Uh, interesting. Has primarily been on that roll. We didn't see it at lock in, but they're back and listen to him. Listen to him. Find what he can. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Look at this. Two cloud bursts. Envy pushing out. They're aggressive with it. They're feeling themselves. They know that they can't go for these duels. Oh my god. Trying to wall himself off, but it's not going to happen today. Patty, I'm so sorry. Tried to get the wall, just couldn't do it. Jesse. Oh. Ooh, got some damage. Last got the finish. Only one left here. And he's got the spike, though. Can he get around this backside? You've got Dubstep watching this angle. There's 
walking straight into it. An easy way to swap that position since, but now perhaps it's going to be that set play from Talon. Garnett's rushing straight in. Got KO with the null command too, but Borkum's already in position from heaven. Raining down upon them as he peeks out. Cosmic Divide just to give them a little bit more cover. Cruz finally helping his team, but no! Again, Fox peeking. It's gonna be Cruz with Guardian trying to do what he can, but he delays the inevitable. Information that it's gonna be a V-Main rush. Jeremy's prepared for this. So is Jesse Vash. They're just continuing to go through with it, though. They somehow managed to take down Jesse. And this just might be able to work out. Dubstep trying to find what he can, floating up top, but instead it's gonna be Envy and Jeremy pushing down from Market. Everyone's been cornered, oh! but Jet Boys hiding inside of the smoke comes out of nowhere. This round in terms of their, oh my god, what a spray down. Gets both heads, flicks right over, gets another. Towards the A side, the star is not set up towards A main. And this means it's going to be easy for Team Secret to actually push past this. Jet Boys trying to stay alive too. The site already pushed left. on over, and, and this is a full on five on five pistol round retake scenario. I'm not a fan of this, Clint. Right it's gonna be tough for Talon, I think. Team Secret here, though, has a has a lurker. See Jeremy already out in spawn. That's gonna play a huge part of this round. Envy is low, and there is that perfect seize. They have to peek into it. Here comes Fox, here comes Jit Boys! They're able to go in together, trapping Dubstep inside of hell, but this frenzy, Jeremy from above! Heaven and hell working in tandem to leave Cruz alone. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Even the Nano Swarm narrowly avoiding it down to 22 HP. He no longer has time. And it comes down! Oh my god! <laughs> now, on to the next round. Talon setting up for an interesting A main push, but oh god. Instantly met with the Spectres. The Flash just somehow did not quite connect. Yeah. Exit. Ooh, what a shot. Don't die in the turret, please. Okay. One Still, remaining. it's a sheriff against the Spectre, and, and Jeremy knows that he can run in, run and gun, spray and pray, whatever you want to call it. Not information. TP inside. Yeah, TP in. Bucky, aw. Cruz is just ready for this. He knows! Before. Garnet is looking for, what? okay, come on. Kind of trying to relay off of this. A bit of a flash from Jit Boys. He's sight they are. They're really trying to hold this out, trying to make them, oh, you know, die in front of this switch. Yes, he they have the numbers One now, just remaining. from holding the positions alone. Cosmic Divide is not gonna help you that so much. And Patty is stranded, lost in no man's land. He can't even cross over to defender spawn if he wants to. Love the way they set up their post. Oh, what is he no? doing? Oh no. Talon trying to set up for that coordinated push and it works out for the time being, but what is this? Envy, a turret kill from Jeremy too. Dubstep with the blade storm. Just, just going to do it again. They know that Talon are on an eco. Once they get that spike down, it might as well be game over. And I just hope it's not gonna happen so easily. But looking at how this plays out, we just might have that 13-5. Not sure if Cruz spotted him out, but here comes Jeremy. All the way from right stairs. Yeah, from the site, yeah. Cruz. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> Trying to play around the turret. A bit of a stinger kill. No spray, Trent. Be setting it up, coming in from behind. And then, of course, Jeremy to aid as well. The zero point kind of connecting, but you need those headshots, and Jeremy will be the one to get it. Look at this wall. Bit of a wall? Uh, interesting. If anything, to block off, I don't know, coming from, from, from B? It doesn't help that much. Yeah. Spike down, attacker spawn. And they're just rerouting back. You only have 30 seconds left, though. This is a mess. <laughs> Everybody's uh, yeah. all over the place here. Oh. oh. Sushi catches a great timing there on the dubstep. Dubstep with the spike as well, and the turret 
gonna finish him off, and Garnett's good for the last one. Maybe Sushi Boys can aid in this as well. Trying to spray through, not gonna find much. Still though, against the Classics, I don't think Team Secret should be able to find too much. They're walking straight up front, but everyone's positioned just to shoot them down. A bit of damage from Nanoswarm too, and here comes Pat. That, that makes things a little bit challenging. So, hey, but you only lose one player here for the side of Talons. So you gotta feel pretty good uh, about this anti-eco. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to come through, even takes a smidge of damage. Looking for a head kick, if anything, but that angle is just tough. Especially up on top of pipes, Team Secret are exploiting this. Elevated angles just to push in and claim that side for themselves. The only one left, Sushi Boys. Not much that he can do. Nano Swarm, a little bit of damage. But he's got a Sheriff. Oop. <laughs> I was trying to big him up, hoping he hit a banger shot there, like we saw in the previous match, but it's just gonna be Jeremy good for the stabilize, if anything. Team Secrets, teamwork coming back into play. And just a big pick from this operator from Talon as well. Perhaps they can find some sense of normalcy. Fox up top, Pat pushing down from pipes down through the maze, and Team Secret have no choice but to back off. Yeah, the Fox got way ahead there, able to dodge the recon dart was Garnett's Last dubstep though. Ooh, final kill, Jeremy. Team Secret trying to explore some avenues of their own. They got hit with that high tide. It's not a big problem still. Ish. Free-ish. Yeah, it, it was on sale. <laughs> call it a call. Again, just trying to retake into it. It's gonna be Sushi Boys to start things off. They're all peeking together, but look at how Team Secret are positioned. Similar to what we saw from before on a set, but this time on a different map. You know, of course you have Envy's ult popped as well. They're gonna have they're gonna have to drop that pit to get in, right? This is a good counter here with their with their utility. No! Oh, the Hunter's Fury. Speaking of counters, here comes that Hunter's Fury. Sushi Boys pushing past screens as well. Two players gone, the spike has been planted, but can you actually hold it on even further? Reckoning gets set through, maybe some information, and Garnett's just looking for it, gets that first headshot, but it instantly traded. Anchoring down the side is gonna be Sushi Boys, Cruz trying to play a long pass with it. And it's just a matter of time, waiting for that little bit of information, but, no, it's gonna be possible though. Just those post plant positions, they have to spray it, Fox is sticking it, he gets off. Thanks to so much firepower coming through, whether it's Spectres or Stingers, Fox doesn't care, but Envy! Able to quite get there, we're Talon, Jesse Bash goes fishing, and he gets Ooh. one! Oh, he got a big one, it's Fox. Caught a nice fish. Maybe even fishing for another one, that's gonna be Garnett's. Not quite able to find it though, and it's going to be the Sage Wall that gives Jeremy the plant, but Patty is already aware of this. Ooh. Doesn't matter as Sushi Boy is pushing in from the right side. So much to consider, so many One angles, and then a little bit of an, an operator duel between the Jet and the Killjoy as well. Peeking back into it, doesn't matter. He's just buying time. He's been hiding here for the longest time, and here he comes, he strikes! It coils out! Onto its team secret at the right time. You might have gotten the Viper's Pit down and you're trying to stick the defuse, I mean the plant, excuse me, but Sushi Boys is still here. 20 seconds, we're down to the 1v1 and Dubstep has got the Operator. Sneaking around the corner, Cruz just waiting for that little tap. Doesn't even go for it, Dubstep. On the other side of this, it's Danger Zone. Oh, they tried to boost it, it doesn't matter, they still get the kill. Close range, those firefights. It's kind of helping both sides. Uh, maybe a little bit more for Team Secret because they have the Spectres, but this Spike plan, Spike ticking away. We're down to about maybe 25, 30 seconds left. This Nano Swarm, it's not gonna do that much. Closer towards yellow or in that nook underneath the rope or something. Uh, that spot right there, I just feel like this yeah. is spicy. One click, gets it, tailwinds away. And that's a free kill, maybe a second. Pops the blade storm. Oh my god, Garnets, this guy doesn't back off in the face of danger. Of course, Patty trying to help this as well, but Team Secret are just continuing to barge through. It's the final round of the first half, and they are not backing down. The spike has been planted. 
And it's going to have to be this two on three retake. A head has been spotted. Make that a one on three now. Cruz, can you do this? Being so careful, the toxic screen, but playing off of contact. Oh my god! Whoa. So close! You know, on the second day. There we go. Speaking of second day, it's the second half. Team Secret trying to contest against this, but how do you deal with these walls as smokes upon smokes? Garnets just playing around that cove will be able to find Jesse Vash's face. Envy pushing forward now. It's all down to this timing. But then again, this is that double controller. A high tide gone, a toxic screen comes up, and Patty continues to find heads. He's going full turret mode. Off of that classic, Envy is the only one left alive. A simple peek and Cruz instantly flicks over. Feeling themselves, they know they have to win. They know that Team Secret are, are, are on that eco. So they're just rushing onto this B site like it's free. The door is open and Garnets. Especially against ecos. Like how much space you're able to cut off and create for yourself to give you those opportune long distance fights. There you go, Patty. It's all good. He's fine, 32 health, and it is going to be a Five flawless. Goes. But And then the high tide just to collect on the A. And then they walk in with it, running and gunning with the Spectre. Close range, Jeremy had no idea what hit him. And they're just wanting to push past it, but they can't. An easy plant for Talon. As soon as the wall drops, the oh my god, in me. Oh, oh a what? Oh, a stray bullet catching Patty. Oh, and then a fourth. Envy! He doesn't quite know it, but the entire side is clear. Cruz is all the way on the top of Boiler, dropping down. No, oh, Jeremy, he's still on the side. He's got that wall up. Well, he's a bullet to the face, and of course, Borkum is here just to back him up. A little bit of a trade, perhaps. Spring, running and gunning. It's still going to be Talon with her numbers overwhelming the site. But here comes Jesse with his shock dart. And all of a sudden, the spike has been dropped. Fox has to stick this plant, unless he goes in for this 1v2, but nope, not today. Trying to get aggressive on it. Garnett, yeah, oh, Jeremy. Oh, oh that angle. On top of screens, no way in hell they expected that. A lot of value, but of course, the spike sticks. Oh, no, Patty got off, got off of it too early. And that's going to allow a little bit more time. Fox caught in a duel against Jesse Vash as well. Trying to find those kills, but this stinger at close range is deadly. As he finds a third, we're down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And what was supposed to be Team Secret's round? Envy now has to find Fox, but he has no idea. And he's right around this wall. A bit of a null command com uh, confirms that his he's nearby. Two bullets is all it takes. Goes off the zip line, forces Envy. Oh, Hunter Spirit popped. Just to catch him as well, and it actually tags two of them, but here comes Jesse all the way towards the back of Snowman, able to shoot them down. Secret trying to flush them out, and then here comes out the Viper's Pit, giving them a little bit of a breathing room, and here comes Fox too! Adjust, regroup, and the economy was bad, and Cruz oh is punishing him! It's available to help him out. Of course, Garnet's trying to do what he can too. The Cloudburst able to save him for the time being, right here comes Patty! Oh my god! Microflix back to back! And it's out to the 1v1, Bork of time indeed! Commit at this point anyway, as soon as the toxic screen drops, and that's when they strike, the iron is hot! Garnet's now pushing past this, and he has his teammates, but Envy again! What? How does he do this? A quick spray transfer and then dump staff! 410, and there's so much cover. There is that reckoning that you're talking about, and that's gonna be so annoying for dubstep to work with. And then the lockdown. Is this going to be it, Clinton? They're trying to push up, but they can't do it, Jeremy! Call is to go straight out to B. Cruz is the only one here. If he's gone, B is completely open.
Yeah, you know, Jip Boys is trying oh, to rotate work? quickly, but dubstep? every everybody's just dying on the way out. Just dubstep's just waiting. It's a flawless. It's an arcade now. They continue to push in and gaining tower control. It's gonna be Borkum, and that's why he gets the shine because he has that Spectre Envy coming out on top. Yeah, this is sight open now, and you've got a 4v2. Yeah, that's the thing about Fracture again. Sushi up top flash. tries to flick back and forth. It's gonna be a little bit of an awkward angle too, but they managed to go in with a little bit more damage. Main thing is that Team Secret has the guns in this round, so three players hovering around this one spot by Defender Spawn. But look at how Jeremy deals with this, just pushing past the Sky Smoke, finding Fox, dealing with that anti-plant utility. And then <laughs> the Orbital Strike from above. Spike still planted, so that's good. You got Dubstep trying to do what he can all the way up by Arcade, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. The rest of them starting to push on through now. As soon as they get control of the site, it's going to be high time down for Dubstep and Borkum to wake oh, up. An exactly Orbital Strike of his own. He sends it down, buys time for his teammate to get into position too. Garnet's forced to take the duel. It's down to 1v2, Dubstep. He is able to buy time. He's able to dance back and forth all over his grave. Jit boys going to stick it because that's the only thing he can. Of course that ult proving some value. Now they're gonna get really aggressive. Oh God. Oh God. Well, <laughs> you're right. Oh God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of words, Clint. I know it's my job, it's our job, but look at how this is just playing out. They're peeking into each other. And of course, Team Secret with the firepower are able to just. Maybe 8 0, yeah. most likely, or 7 0. Oh, oh God, and here we go. Oh boy. Got the Stim Beacon just to help you a little bit further. Talon trying to duel against you. They're not quite sure how to hold the site now. Playing off of off angles inside the Sky Smoke, but still getting sprayed forward by Jesse Vash. Sushi. Spike planted. He says he doesn't like to eat sushi. I, that is <laughs> tragic. Round's not over. He is pinned down, though. But unfortunately, not quite able. First of all, great name, Sushi Boys. OK. This time, oh, Fox! Jumping around the stairs, going back and forth. Just at the right time now, 15 seconds remaining. You have to stick the plant. I don't know if Jesse can hold this on his own. He certainly tries to go in for it. Able to find this one-on-one. -on -one. And then the rolling thunder, stunned! Really, really good, but this time, trying to hold the angle and he's got it. That's so good now, Cruz. Might be able to do something, anything, but Jesse Vash on the other side. A rolling thunder pushes Team Secret back, though, and here comes Garnet. Close range with an operator, an entry operator. Support from Jet Boys, too. This might be their round. As Sushi finds one more, Envy. Can you do this? I don't think so. But if not, that would be painful. Look at how they are pushing together this time, though. Garnet finding dubstep. All they have to do is to collapse onto the site. And they have the lockdown for it. Sushi Boys has gotten the spike carrier for it. And all that's left is going to be Jesse. He knows that there's someone on the other side. He's going to oh, turn away from the flash. Daryl spotted after in is Surely they don't know Envy is on this off angle. One spray, maybe two. Bork up the help, and the operator gone. Fox has to make this war pressure is on. He crouches, he sprays the triple, but no time for the defuse. It's going to be Garnets. You got to go in quick. Someone is here to play against you, and it's going to be Jesse Vash. Instantly finding the head, and he's not worried at all. The Sky Smoke even pushing the back. Drop. There's going to be hell to pay. Envy, Jeremy, one more left to go. Jit Boys. Flash backwards, and it's going to be an easy headshot from W and Borkum. Yeah, like you talked about it, they had that intel, so they were prepared for this. That's why they're watching these angles specifically, and all it takes is a spray through the smoke. Her duel is gone. Trying to go in for the spike plant, but oh my god. <laughs> the time. Please do something, anything. No. Oh my god, Jeremy. Okay. Oh god. All right. Playing a position now, but because you're concussed. No, this is, I mean, okay, they might get one. <laughs> this has been identified. They need to eliminate him without losing anybody else, and they do. So that's that's a big pickup here for Team Secret. It gives them a real chance to close this round out. It's, a for, it's not even a retake, not really anyway. 
Look at the positioning. Spike planted. Maybe a bit of a crossfire. Cruz has the orbital strike, so oh, that could be finished. really useful. But then a rolling thunder gets sent Get back to push Team Secret away. Jesse finding the first one to start things off. Now Sushi Boy is going ring around the Rosie. Just noise by the doors, but wait, does not expect this Borkum up top. Here comes Cruz though, buying that time, but he has to go in now. Dubstep, just locking down this angle. Oh, the lineups. One headshot though, and does he have enough time? I think he does. Oh, yeah. This is game over.